so we're going to be working on review from last week and then a new step we didn't get to all of it last week so we do have a couple more problems to do um, this is the first problems are just the review remember we are working y equals mx plus b m is my slope b is my y intercept for all of our problems today that is the two things that you need to be able to come up with two pieces of information to write your equations so first ones are very very easy very direct y equals 2x 2 times x my y intercept is a negative number so instead of writing plus b i'm going to write minus 8 okay pause the video and do your second one and i'm going to go to your um tables all right so if i am doing tables remember i'm going to be looking for the y-intercept how do we know a number is the y-intercept we know because x is zero so my y-intercept is a positive four looking for my slope my x is my run and it is going down by three so that's a negative three my y is my rise and it is increasing by four so my slope is rise over run four over negative three so my equation is y equals a negative four thirds times x minus three okay pause the video and do the other two for me please all right and i am going to talk about the graphs All right, so if I'm looking at the graphs, I am, here it is, I'm trying to find my, increase. First two things I need is one, that point where it's crossing the y-axis, my y-intercept, right? So I want here, no, don't do that. Let's go back to this pen. That is at 0, 5. So my y-intercept is going to be 0, 5. Then I'm going to draw a triangle. Remember, you've got to be in those corners. I can't come and use this point. I can't use this point. I've got to be in those corners. From the left to the right, my line is decreasing. So I have a negative slope, and it's going down 3 and right 2. So negative 3 over a positive 2. Negative 3 over 2. So y equals a negative 3 over 2 times x. That's a positive 5, so I'm going to say plus 5. Okay? All right, again, this is all review from Friday. Um, make sure you pause your video and do the next problem. All right, these had a little bit more work to them. Remember, on these, we have to solve for B. And what's B? B is that y-intercept. I've got the slope. I need two pieces of information. I need the slope and I need the y-intercept. So if I need to solve for the y-intercept, I've got an x and a y 
and I need to write the equation y equals mx plus b. b is what I'm missing. So I'm going to put 9 equals 2. m is my 2, 3 is my x, times 3 plus b. 2 times 3 is 6, so I've got 9 equals 6 plus b. Subtract that 6 and b equals 3, right? So what is my y-intercept? Um, I wish I could get a eraser. Oh. All right, so my y-intercept is 3 and my slope is 2, so I'm going to say y equals... 2x plus 3. I'm going to do another one with you. I have y is 1 equals 2 thirds times negative 6 plus b. y equals m times x y 1 m two-thirds negative six is my x plus b all right two times negative six is negative twelve divided by three is a negative four so i have one equals negative four plus b again two times negative six multiply by the top divide by the bottom two times negative six is negative twelve negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. So I got to add 4 to both sides and I get b equals 5. So y equals 2 thirds times x plus 5. Okay? All right. Um, So, what do I do when I don't have the slope or the y-intercept? Well, the first thing I'm going to have to do is just get that slope, right? So, first thing is pin. Nope, go back. All right. There's the eraser. Pen. First thing, I need slope. Step one. Find slope. So remember, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to ignore this problem here for a little bit because I'm going to use the space till I get my answer. You probably want to be doing this on some scratch paper. All right, so x, y, x, y. 8 minus 4. y, 2 minus y, 1. 8 minus 4 over x, 2, Minus x1 gives me 5 minus 3. So I've got 4 over 2, m equals 2. Okay, so, so far I got my first piece of information. Now that I'm back on that piece of information, guys, I mean, I am right at the problems that we were at before m equals 2, and I have a coordinate point, so now I have to step 2, solve for b. Step 2, solve, whoop, m equals 2, step 2, solve for b. Pick a point. It makes no, <clears throat> excuse me, no difference 
what point you use. You can use either one. We'll all come up with the same answer. <clears throat> so x, y. y is 4. 4 equals slope times the x. x is 3 plus b. 2 times 3 is 6, so 4 equals 6 plus b. Subtract that 6 from both sides, and b equals negative 2. So there's my two pieces of information that I need, slope and the y-intercept. And my answer is going to be y equals 2x minus 2. Okay? All right. I'm going to clear this screen. So I hope you have everything written down. Pause it if you don't because I'm about to clear it. And then I want you to do the second problem right here. Pause the screen. Okay. Clear the screen. Um, I'm going to do one, two. And 5, 10. Again, I'm going to ignore. Let's put some stickers over this one. I'm going to ignore that problem. I'm going to work this one. And my step one is that I have to get slope. Again, what's my slope formula? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, this is going to be my point 1, and this is going to be my point 2. So I have xy, xy, y2 minus y1, 10 minus 2 over x2 minus x1, 5 minus 1. So I get 8 over 4, and again, we've got a slope that is equal to 2. So m equals 2. Okay? Um, I'm going to clear this. Now, what was my step 2? Step 1 was to find that slope. What was step 2? Step 2 is to solve for b. That means that I need to pick a point, don't matter which one, and I need to use my slope, and I need to solve for B. So I'm going to say 2, 2 is my Y, Y equals 2, 2 is my slope, times 1 plus b. 2 times 1 is 2, so I've got 2 equals 2 plus b. So when I subtract to solve for b, I get b equals 0. So my equation, y equals 2x. I don't need to put the plus 0 on there because what's plus 0? It's just nothing, right? So we're just going to leave it at y equals 2x. All right, let's go with the next problem. I'm going to clear that screen. You're working this problem. And pause the video, and then I'm going to work this problem. Okay, so on this one, same business, same example, negative 1, 2, 7, 6, point 1, point 2, x, y, x, y, m, my first step, get that slope, y, 2, minus y, 1, over x, 2, minus x, one. You need two pieces of information. You need the slope and you need the y-intercept. So 
y2 minus y1 is 6 minus 2 over 7 minus a negative 1. So I get 4 over minus a negative means we got to add. So that's 8. And that goes down to 1 half. So m is 1 half. Okay, all right, um, so then I have to get my y-intercept, so I'm going to pick a point here and use the slope. Again, I'm going to ignore this problem for right now. All right, so I have 2 equals negative 1 half. Nope, that's wrong. I need to go back, get an eraser. It is a positive 1 half times negative 1 plus b. So I have 2 equals negative 1 half plus b. So I've got to add 1 half and 2, and that is 2 and 1 half. So 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 over 2. All right, so my equation, I'm going to get my eraser. I'm going to erase my work, so I hope you've got it written down. If you haven't, you need to pause the video and write that stuff down. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this. All right. Y equals 1 half. That's my slope. Times X plus 5 halves. Okay. All right. Again, pause the video because I'm about to hit the clear screen. Okay. Hopefully you did... 2, 16, and negative 1, 7 without any problems. I'm going to do 2, 13, and 1, 8. And this is about the last one I'm going to do with you, so make sure that you are doing your, your work, guys. Um, let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. Mouse. Eraser. And go back to pen. Okay, so one more time. Step one, get slope. X, Y, X, Y. <clears throat> y2 minus Y1. X2 minus X1. So I'm going to do, this time, I'm going to do 2 and 1. So I'm going to say 13 minus 8 over 2 minus 1. 13 minus 8 is 5. 2 minus 1 is 1. So my slope is 5. All right, step 2, solve for B. I'm going to choose a point and a slope, and I'm going to solve for B. 8 equals 5 times 1 plus b. 5 times 1 is 5, so i got to subtract 5 from both sides, and b equals 3. <clears throat> so I have y equals 
5x plus 3. Okay? All right. Um, I'm going to let you look at this for a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I want you to go back to your notes. What do you see about this guy? This is the easiest problem that you have coming up. If that's not the easiest problem you have coming up, then this is the easiest problem. What do you see on this one? Check out your notes and find your answers to these two. All right, guys.